Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome back. We are once more playing Train Driver 2. And today, well, we are going to be driving Freight Train. <laughs> yes, chat. Last week it was Passenger Train. So this week, probably, <laughs> it should be a Freight Train, isn't it? Uh, so hopefully this time uh, we will get some long routes, but we won't have to spend seven hours to complete it. <laughs> yeah, that that was too long in in previous time when when we played freight train. <laughs> I learned my lesson, and this time I won't be driving SM42. <laughs> we are going to take something a little bit faster <laughs> and hopefully that will be nice three four hour stream that's that's what i'm hoping for right let's let's see who do we have on the chat ralief hello hello uh hoodie railjet hello <laughs> how was my week uh, it was well kind of boring i spent most of it at work to be honest uh, so, yeah, not much really to, to talk about. Uh, yesterday I managed to uh, eventually sneak out of the house and go with with my friends to celebrate his birthday. But apart from that, yeah, not, not much really happened. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's my life for you guys. It's, it's like not super exciting. <laughs> uh, okay. Right, uh, Olgerdos, hello, hello. Welcome to the stream, I hope you have a great time today. Right, chat, so I guess it's time for us to jump into the game, get some timetable and get this train rolling, isn't it? Yeah, I, I, I think that's the best. There we go, fantastic. We can now see the game in full screen. <laughs> right, so let's jump into multiplayer. I already prepared my consist, which is going to be EU07, freight train, 616 meters long, but only 1285 tons. So it's not super heavy consist. Um, we will be limited to 70 kilometers per hour, and the locomotive I, I took should be more than good enough to pull this cargo even uphill so i don't expect any difficulties on on that side <laughs> traffic might be a little bit rough if, if we are not lucky uh, but we'll see what kind of timetable we can get uh, let me just see if we can find some nice station to start hmm Yeah, I think we can jump into Chermin, to Kolyova Pasya. Uh, yeah, he, he might be able to generate some nice and long timetable. Maybe not too exciting station to, to visit. We've been there so many times. Uh, but hopefully he will be able to generate some nice timetable. So let's jump into... Okay, we don't have any choice anymore. <laughs> Let's get this train rolling. There we go. And let me just sit down correctly. That should do. Now uh, we can turn on the lights. Uh, gauge lights, cabin lights, yes. Uh, we might raise the pantograph. Uh, let's set brakes for freight. Okay.
There we go. Let's see if we can get a long timetable. Okay, so while we are waiting... Oh! I forgot to change the train number! Oh my goodness me! Uh, what's it profile now? That was settings... Uh, game. Uh, uh, save... Resume... All right, so the train number has been updated. <laughs> Hi Nam, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you will have a great time today. Oh yes, you are going to sleep. Uh, I, I forgot that it's it's late in Vietnam. <laughs> well, have a good sleep then. Right, uh, let me change the camera and let's set this one there we go I think that should do uh, perhaps yeah that's that's as much as I can go with this camera uh, let's let's lock it Perfect, I'm expecting a long timetable, so we might as well, well, uh, that's, that's not exactly what I expected. That is definitely not something I expected. I think we will have to request a new timetable when we reach... <laughs> that's yeah that that's one short timetable oh my goodness yes we are taking logs so this is gonna be fun okay let's jump back into the cabin let's make sure everything is set up okay we got reverser forwards lights are on and we are basically ready to go although yes uh, it is a very very short timetable I'm I am disappointed I am a little bit disappointed with that but well maybe it's because there is a lot of trains today and we might not be able to get anything longer but who knows, maybe at Karszynek we will get some, some long timetable. We shall see. Okay, 29 station, 29 uh, trains, so that's not too bad, that's not too bad. It will go up eventually. The meme, hello, welcome to the stream, I hope you will have a great time. Pankura, <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> okay, that... That's a nice and short timetable, uh, 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 uh. and we got a short section on a single track, which is really nice. It's been a while since I've been traveling on a single track sections. For most part, recently, I've been lucky to, to get pretty much entire route on a double track. Okay, if we are lucky, one and a half minutes and we will be able to depart. But that's not too bad.
John Anderson, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you will have a great time today. How is everyone doing? Okay, we got one minute left. Hopefully everything will be on time today. Still nothing. And still nothing. There is a chance. that a dispatcher is trying to change my timetable which which might be the case oh never mind we can now depart one thing that I need to fix there we go apparently it's one of those cabins which has well back gauge lights so as you could see they were clipping through uh, through the hustler so unfortunately we will have to disable them I can lower the front pantograph and off we go. Okay, we are about to reach 40 kilometers per hour. Now we are heading to Otpotsko.
My goodness me, this is really heavy consist. For this locomotive. Like, I thought we will be able to speed up a bit quicker than, than we do. Now reached 60 kilometers per hour, so it's about time to perform a brake test. Okay, I think the brake seems to be working. Now let's wait for them to fully release. And it's gonna take a while, it's a very long consist. Now we can speed back up. There we go. Yeah, this locomotive is really struggling with this cargo which is a bit unexpected. Dominic Toretto, hello, welcome to the stream, I hope you will have a great time today. There we go, we have now reached 70 kilometers per hour, so we can let it coast. Perfect. Just perfect. That's one thing that I like about Chermin. It's it's the fact that when you speed up to desired level, you can just let it coast. And the tracks are more or less uh, perfectly even. So the train will keep 
momentum and basically not slow down too much. In fact, in in our case, uh, we actually we are actually speeding right now. <laughs> Just by a tiny bit, though. Okay, we are approaching another railroad crossing. Yeah, the tracks are definitely going downhill. I think I will have to give it a touch on the brakes. Yeah, let's do it. Just a touch to slow us down to 70. I don't mind going a little bit over the speed limit, but eventually we are supposed to at least try and, and stick to proper speed limits. There we go. That's perfect. I wonder how many delays are today and if there are any problems in in train driver that would be very interesting Oops, I, I think I, I went too fast on the regulator. There we go. Yeah. We're getting no power. There we go. Perfect. Okay, on next scenery we have 80 km per hour speed limit, uh, although our train is limited to 70 anyway. So as long as every single dispatcher will Oops, I, I forgot to, to say see you. <laughs> but I managed to eventually give a thumbs up to Kolyova Pasia, so... Hmm, okay, okay. The longest delay is 21 minutes. Okay, that's good. That's very good. So there shouldn't be too many problems. Oops, uh... What am I doing today, chat? What am I doing? I was supposed to sound a horn. <laughs> Not type in the chat. Okay, we are just breaking 65 kilometers per hour, which is very good.
<laughs> I, I think this patcher just realized his mistake. to stop the train before the next semaphore my goodness me it takes a long while to stop this thing S1 Ooh, Am I going to make it? I, I, I think I will but I need to make sure to pull the train all the way to the semaphore. Luigi Rota, hello! Welcome to the stream, I hope you'll have a great time today. I, I need to stop very close to that semaphore. Okay, that is a perfect stop, chat. Perfect stop. Whew, that was close. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now he is letting me through. That's that's a bit late. Okay, let's try and release the brakes. And off we go. So let's give him a thumbs up. Is that... Yeah, second level dispatcher. That's, that's why the mistakes. There we go. Okay, looks like we are going to be slightly delayed. My timetable doesn't predict any stops.
Perfect. Hopefully, next station will be more prepared for my arrival. There we go, nice and smooth. Perfect. So, chat. How is everyone doing? Uh, some people actually answered something uh, to, to that question when I asked it last time. But most of you is, is... Yeah, most of you are silent today. What's going on, chat? <laughs> Everyone's tired after a long week. Heading to Dobrzyce or Dobrzyniec Mącice. Uh, yeah, Dobrzyniec Mącice. There we go. Okay. Okay, so that's going to be very interesting scenery. And there we go, that's the end of Otwocko. Well, that's a nice and relaxing route so far. Hopefully there will be no major issues. Although it's train driver too, so anything can happen at any moment. You never know, chat, you never know. Oh wow, I, I'm guessing it's a day 
for dispatchers to flex how long timetable they manage to issue. <laughs> it's the second time when a dispatcher has like longest timetable issued uh, in, in, in their welcome message on the station. But it's good to know that there are some dispatchers that can do manual timetables that are very, very long. Ooh, looks like we are going a little bit too fast. Oh. We have to slow down, chat. But the train is not slowing down, that's not good. <laughs> Five trains have 100 kilometer long timetable. That's not too bad, that's not too bad. I am going a little bit faster than I should on that section. Just a tiny bit. Whew, that was close. I, I really need to be a little bit less gentle on the brakes, especially in a freight train. Because as you can see, it takes a while <laughs> for those brakes to actually start to slow me down. Okay, I, I, I think I should be good to speed up now. Looks like we will have to slow down once more, according to the next light. The question is, uh, what kind of speed limits will the next semaphore give me? Is that going to be 40 or 60? Hmm. Can't really remember this scenery. Okay, let's let's keep it at 45 so that I can slow down uh, in case I have to. Yeah, that should do. Kunchaparati vlogs, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you will have a great time today. Okay, where is that light? Uh, it's, it's down there. Ooh. Okay, let it coast for now. And it looks like... That's going to be 40. That is 40 shots. Let's give it a touch on the brakes to bring us below the speed limit.
There we go, that should do. <laughs> yeah, uh, I I agree with you, Ravi. But like, breaking on its own is is not that hard. Although stopping at the precise location is a little bit harder because obviously your brakes are slightly less um, precise than in a uh, passenger train, and so you have to consider that while braking or while using brakes uh, that your brakes need a little bit more time to react and continuing uh, to be honest uh, as soon as your train is stopped you, all you have to do is to release the brakes uh, the worst part comes when you have to get the train rolling uphill uh, that is really bad <laughs> that is really bad then. Okay, I believe on that curve I can start speeding up. Although... Okay, my speed dropped down to 30, so by the time I will reach 40, I should be already within 70 zone. Okay, uh, let's give a thumbs up to the dispatcher. For now everything seems to be alright. Uh, but at the end of that single track section I will have to slow down once more to go through some junctions. The question is how much I will have to slow down. Oh, uh, again. Stop using chat. got a neutral section here Okay Now carry on, trying to get back to 70. locomotive is really struggling with this cargo. I was actually hoping that it will handle it much better. But it isn't as good as I expected.
Okay, we got a green light, so that's good. We will be able to just fly it through. to get back to speed come on give me a break that's like we are just doing 50 right now oh and it looks like it isn't that bad after all because we will have to slow down indeed so let's let it coast Okay, now let's see what signal indication will be on on the next semaphore. Will I have to slow down the roll 40 or can I just speed up uh, speed up to 60? Actually these junctions looks like they might be supporting higher speeds. But you can never be sure. You can never be too sure. This is only 40. So that was a good choice to keep my speed low. Coast. We are just doing 40. Perfect. Okay, so in about 650 meters I can speed up again. Right now I can just give it a little bit of throttle to 
keep my current speed. Once more, I've been a little bit too quick. Okay, if I'm lucky, or if if the guy right next to me is lucky, my train should clear the junction just as he reaches the semaphore. Good to get back to speed. This train is really sluggish. It's still not as bad as that SM42 we've been driving to, uh, like, where was it, like a, a month ago? Yeah, yeah, it was about a month ago. <laughs> that thing was slow. <laughs> Okay, looks like we we are able to, to speed up with 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 this thing, especially on, on that track section. <laughs> section oh my goodness me this train is slowing down really quickly <laughs> come on come on come on okay Okay, so that was Dobrzyniec and our next scenery is going to be Karszynek. Uh, I'm going to try and get some new timetable. Looks like someone joined this uh, scenery and wants a timetable for EN 71 or EN 57 <laughs> for 120 kilometers per hour. <laughs> oh my goodness me. I doubt this person will ever get any timetable from that dispatcher. <laughs> I 
Right, chat, success, we are back to 65. Very safe speed for, for this train. And there we go. So we are now approaching Karshinek. So all we have to do here is to perfectly stop where we have to. And and that's that's difficult with this consist as you could see. It's like I'm still struggling a little bit with uh, with the brakes and, and peel of them, so who knows, who knows, results might, might vary, <laughs> hopefully I won't have to stop the train and restart it to pull closer to the semaphore, because like whatever siding I'm gonna get, my train is gonna fit just about there are no longer sidings than 650 in the game Okay. Let's slow down. Perhaps it will be easier to slow down. I will reduce the regulator. Ooh, I'm speeding on that signal. Just just slightly. I'm not sure if that siding is long enough for my train. I hope it is.
Okay, nice and slow. Okay, and we should be able to stop in front of that semaphore. Easy. Beautiful. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's release the brakes. Uh, let's bring the pantograph up. I just literally sent this guy an analysis. Can he actually <laughs> read? Oh my goodness. send it once more yeah the guy completely ignored the previous message <laughs> so I doubt we will get any long timetable although hopefully hopefully right and in the meantime may look around hopefully this siding is perfectly even because I, I left all the brakes released <laughs> that would be pretty bad isn't it let's see if I can get the signal box doesn't look like the train is rolling so I assume everything is on even ground okay barriers are closed and yeah as expected yeah uh, I, I get absolutely terrible timetable although my end station is gonna be Dobzhinyet so hopefully there I will be able to get what I want this building no I, I don't think so let's just grab a screenshot there we go okay we are still waiting Yeah, today I'm getting really terrible timetables. Although, uh, as I mentioned before, I'm heading to Dobzhinyets this time. And there is uh, 
his uh, dispatcher, the uh, Pidembitski. Uh, so hopefully he will be able to give me some nice and long timetable for a freight train. Hmm. Did my train actually fit into this siding? Uh, just as I predicted. Oh, I am completely blocking this track. Chat. Just look at this. Ah, oh, just, just one car length and, and I would perfectly fit. But now I'm too far and I'm blocking this entire section. The dispatcher won't be able to set it. <laughs> but he doesn't know about that, probably. Okay, we can go. Graph. Perfect. Mr. Slyfox, uh, that steering wheel, as you call it, in in that case is it's basically power regulator. So it has 43 steps uh, or 49 st yeah, 43 steps. And each step regulates how much power I'm I'm using speed up the locomotive so it's not for steering <laughs> or maybe not not in that sense uh, of steering my goodness me this guy has stopped really close Okay, so now we are heading to Chermin again. And uh, then we will head to Kasztanki. And finally, we will stop at Dobrzyniec. One minute past eight. And then hopefully I'm gonna get some proper timetable. There we go, the next scenery is now loading. Uh, since that is chairman, it should load without loading screen. Am I lucky or am I not lucky today? There we go. 
Fermin just loaded. I don't know, I don't know Railjet, uh, probably like three times today. <laughs> Same goes to Dobrzyniec. I wouldn't be surprised to, to see that scenery once more. Okay, that should be nice and smooth. All I have to do is to just fly through this scenery. I can let it coast. And we should be right on the spot when it comes to speed. Oh, okay, so now there is a different dispatcher here. So it looks like the previous one finished at 7. Give it a touch on the brakes. That should do. Is it gonna be enough? Uh, or maybe not. I think that was enough. Spider, hello! Welcome to the stream, I hope you'll have a great time today. Well, today's services are a bit disappointing to be honest. I'm getting all the very short timetables. So I'm, I'm not particularly happy about that. I was hoping for something very, very long. And so far, first two timetables are, well, yeah, um, they are a massive disappointment. I, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, looks like we will have to slow down to 60. So let's give it a touch on the brakes once more and we should be right on the spot. Yeah. 
yeah, I will give it a shot. Uh, maybe my mistake was to try and continue on on a previous scenery where I finished and can't remember what was the level of dispatcher on Karshinek. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the timetable I received. And now it looks like I'm gonna be held at Fermin for some reason. Uh, yeah, exactly. I'm gonna be held at Red Signal. Ah, Karsinek level 2. Uh, level two. Yeah, uh, so that, that explains everything. Level 2 dispatcher definitely won't be making long timetables <laughs> whatever SWDR will give him uh, he's gonna issue that uh, I'm now heading to Dobrzyniec and if I remember correctly there is uh, Pidembitski uh, as a dispatcher so I might be lucky and get some good timetable from him Java. Uh, maybe it was released just recently. I, I wasn't really following the new sceneries that, that were released. Uh, Dobrzynia is level 11. Uh, yeah, but you know. Uh, if I remember the welcome message, uh, dispatcher was claiming that he issued like a 260 kilometer long timetable for someone. And all I need right now is perhaps 150, 180 kilometer long timetable. That that would satisfy me, to be honest. Okay, let's give it a touch on the brakes. I really don't want to approach the signal at 35 kilometers per hour. In fact, maybe, maybe I will be able to stop just on time. Oh, so maybe they are just testing the scenery. Uh, perhaps that's the case. That's not good. Oh, that was close, chat. <laughs> My goodness me, that was very close. Okay, now it's gonna take a while for the brakes to release. I 
I think Dobrzyniec might be struggling with that new player that was there. Uh, perhaps that's why I can't continue right now. I think that might be explaining why I'm being held at Fermi. Okay, let's raise the pantograph. I'm not sure how long we will be held for. Ooh, that's close. But at least on Chermin, I'm fairly sure that my train fits perfectly. That's one of the very few stations that I'm sure of it. <laughs> Just enough space to fit my train. Wow, we got plenty of space, Chaz. We we could, yeah, we could get another. Oh, those are empty wagons. Uh, oh, I, I think I set them up incorrectly. Uh, See, chat. I, I didn't even realize that I had empty wagons at the back. <laughs> I thought everything is loaded. Oh my goodness me. Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. Okay, okay. We got some... Weirdness. Oh, I think... Yes, the lights changed. Now lower the pantograph. Nice and silent now. Good. Okay, so if we are lucky, I might be able to still make it on time to Dobrzyniec and then get a nice and long timetable from there.
Oops. Uh, <laughs> Okay, just perfect, just perfect. We are doing 60. Very soon we should reach 65. And that will be just perfect. I have to admit that everything goes pretty smooth today. Like, I was expecting to have a little bit more delays, especially as a freight train. But on the other hand, yeah, my timetables are too short to to have any delays. It's like really hard to to get any delays when you got literally three or four stations on your timetable. Let it coast. The train should perfectly keep its momentum. <laughs> Don't call the bad weather. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true, Railjet. Uh, Although, yeah, uh, things are going way too smooth today. Right, and you know what, Jack? what I might do at Dobrzyniec. Oh, do I want to make any changes to this train? That's the question. Nah, let's leave it as it is. I was thinking to actually jump in back to the menu edit this consist and add that missing cargo uh, for, for the back set of wagons but I don't think that is necessary 
It wouldn't make any difference to my top speed. Uh, if anything, that would make a little bit harder to break with this train. Because everything is... Well, because that extra weight uh, will eventually be a problem. Uh, because in Poland there is a driver's seat on the right, uh, for the trains at least. Every single train in Poland has the right-hand side uh, driver's seat. So it's not the same as with the cars, where, where the driver is sitting on the left. Uh, is it? No, Dri driver is actually... Yeah, driver is sitting on the left. <laughs> okay. Uh, there we go. Perfect, and Dobrzyniec managed to load before I reach the new scenery. So we don't see any loading screens for now. That scared me. Okay, for now, everything will go smooth, I, I believe. Uh, I, I wonder how long it will take me to, to actually reach the station. Looks like yeah, the tracks are going uphill, that's why I can't speed up past 60. No, okay, we are slowly gaining some speed, but that's good.
Okay, so I will get a new timetable from this station. Uh, but I will request it only after I stop. Uh, so this will probably give me a minute or two to also take a break. Uh, yeah, we've been live for the past two hours and I've been constantly driving. Uh, so it would be nice to take like five minutes break before I will start a new timetable. And yeah, I, I think that will be a good idea. And we also, yeah, we are also approaching the neutral section. So it's time to let it coast. Okay. Perfect, now we can... Throttle back up. Perfect. Oh, looks like another line is joining here. Everything goes nice and smooth today, and hopefully it will stay like that. Oh wow, that is a very long route, isn't it? Like, Dobrzyniec is a massive scenery. On any other scenery, I would probably already reach my stop siding. And it doesn't look like I'm getting anywhere closer right now. Oh, okay, I can see. I can see a different signal. Perfect. So we are getting there, chat. We are getting there. Okay, I can just... Let it coast. Yeah, that, that should do. Perfect. And since we are going uphill, the train is slowing down on its own. Which is perfect, uh, because my next signal will give me... Oh, okay, my next signal will be 100 km per hour speed limit. So what am I doing?
let's keep up the momentum then. No reason to slow down. I, I thought it's, it's gonna be orange. And, and that I will have to slow down to 40. But it's not just yet, chat. Not just yet. Okay, now we are approaching speed limit. So we can let it coast. And hopefully, we are still going uphill. Uh, it doesn't look like. Yeah. Let's give it a touch on the brakes then. Big Zeus, hello, welcome to the stream, I hope you'll have a great time today, how are you doing? Oh, don't tell me that this signal will limit me to 60. Oh my goodness, why did I slow down to 40? Yeah, that's a 60. So no reason for me to actually slow down. Uh, although, okay. It doesn't really matter because the next signal will be stopped. So I might as well continue at 40, it will be safer. And hey, chat! We still got just a little bit over three minutes to arrive at our destination so if I'm lucky I might stop just in time so yeah absolutely no delays today I'm, I'm really surprised especially that I'm driving a freight train Hey, yes, today I'm quite unlucky when it comes to timetables and I get short ones, very short ones. But hopefully that is going to change on this scenery. All I have to do is to stop my train. actually surprised I've been sent to 
passenger platform for some reason. started breaking a little bit too soon okay Now's the right time. And we should stop close enough to that semaphore to actually not block any tracks at the end of my train perfect Okay. And let's see what we're gonna get, chat. Let's see what we're gonna get. And in the meantime... God, I'm gonna take a very, very short break. Yeah, yeah. Or should I wait for the timetable first? Uh, maybe, maybe it will be wise to wait for the timetable. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. If it shows up and I will have to depart really soon, that will be a problem. If it shows up and I will have 20 minutes until departure, that will be perfect. I don't know. I don't know. It's a lottery now, chat. It's a lottery. <laughs> yeah, I, I could use a short break. Mm. Oh well. I'm gonna wait for the timetable first. And we'll see what's, what's gonna happen. There shouldn't be any issues. 
and looking at how long is it taking for the dispatcher to actually make this timetable I'm expecting at least a hundred kilometer long schedule if we are very lucky we might get something really long the problem is that the longer the timetable is right now the higher chances that the stations will be offline by the end of it uh, so yeah ideally the next one will be about 120 kilometers long and this way I should be able to finish it before stations will start to go offline otherwise uh, yeah it might be a problem Chad. Uh, yes, I know it's Friday uh, So there is a chance that people will keep the stations on for a little bit longer uh, But even with that usually around 10 perhaps 11 p.m. Uh, many stations are just going offline So I, I really don't want to go way overboard and, and have a timetable that will finish at like 1 or 2 o'clock. Oh, there we go. Okay, that, that is a good one. That is a good one. And we got technical stop at least go. Yeah, I, I like it. I like it. It's going to take us about 2 hours. 2 and a half hours. Which is perfect, just perfect. I like it. Although my departure is scheduled right away. <laughs> Which might be a problem. Right, chat, what I'm gonna do, I will take very, very quick break. It probably won't take even two minutes, but yeah, I'll be back with you really soon. All right, chat, I'm back, and from what I can see, we can go on. Oh, uh, again. Let's get this bad boy moving. Perfect. <laughs> See, uh, Railjet, I always got this luck. Uh, Ralief, oh, my timetable is 116 kilometers long, which is perfect. Just perfect, just as I expected it to be. So not too bad, not too bad. Uh, at a speed of 70, yeah. Two and a half hours, yeah. Perfect.
There we go. Now we can relax. There should be no issues at all. Uh, so what do we have on the timetable? Uh, we got Lublinek, uh, Lisku, Parów, Głęboszu, Przęsy, Stare Lipowo, Kronowice. Hmm. Kleszczów, Blaszki, wow. And Volanowska, okay, okay. That's that's gonna be very interesting one. Uh, unfortunately, it will take me all the way through double track sceneries, so there should be no issues whatsoever. Unless there are any delays. Along the way, uh, there should be absolutely no issues. And yes, uh, Dobrzynias has really nice sidings. Lots of spaces to, to do some shunting. Uh, Lublinak has... L level dispatcher. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's no good. That is not expected. Wait a minute. Oh wow, I actually managed to stop the train before the red signal. Okay, we are required to wait for two minutes. So let's wait. Technically, as a freight train on some automatic block signals, I could go past without stopping. Uh, but since this route is pretty much perfectly even, uh, that signal doesn't have that sign. So I have to wait for two minutes and then I can continue and pass that signal at danger. But yeah, that was very close. I, I didn't expect this signal to be red. Uh, is that five, six? number of that signal uh, 869 there we go okay I don't know uh, I don't know but I will contact with the dispatcher
Uh, that was 869, yes. Uh, yeah. Okay, um, we've been waiting for two minutes, uh, dispatcher is now informed that I'm passing signal at danger. And we can continue at 20. Okay, uh, dispatcher just informed me that the track is supposed to be clear, so that might be semaphore issue. And indeed, another one is showing green light, uh, so yeah, let's just speed back up. Otherwise, I will be just blocking the track for no reason even though the visibility is perfectly clear and I can see the next signal. Uh, but normally, uh, what I would have to do as a driver is to continue until the next semaphore at 20 km per hour. Or was it 40? I uh, can't remember, I, I will have to double check it, but yeah, I think it's 20 kilometers per hour. So it's not that fast. <laughs> no, and we are now approaching neutral section as well. <laughs> uh, spider, that that wasn't too much of an issue. Uh, like signaling problem is is something that happens every now and then, which is nice thing about train driver too. Every now and then, even dispatcher gets something unexpected, like a broken signal. Okay, soon we should reach Lublinek 
Uh, but first there are Chlorkowice. That's gonna take a while. Oh well, if I'm lucky, I can make up those two minutes. Uh, technically, I'm supposed to wait for two minutes at Lee School, but if I will arrive late, uh, then I might get away without that technical stop. Question is, what's going to happen at Lublinek? Uh, we got very fresh dispatcher there, so he might accidentally stop me. Well, he shouldn't. Uh, there might be issues at Liskov, Parov, Gwenboshov, yeah. So, there's definitely a lot of room to, to create some delays today. But looking at how things went so far, I shouldn't be running into any problems. Oops, uh, did I actually give a uh, thumbs up to the dispatcher? Uh, I, I completely missed that. Uh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Now I feel bad. <laughs> Okay, let's say hello and let's see how it goes. Cookie Monster, that's a nice nickname. And yeah. Uh, <laughs> looks like shortcut of, of the station is incorrect for this for this guy. Not too big of an issue, at least not for me. XYZ, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time. Uh, I'm doing great, I'm doing great. And how are you?
Okay, we got a green light. Uh, looks like this butcher actually set everything correctly. I really like how this station looks like. <laughs> long weekend, yes. For me it's gonna be a long weekend this weekend and next weekend apparently. <laughs> Oh, okay, so this is Klorkovica as a separate scenery. Okay, okay, I, I thought it's part of Lubrzyniec. So it's not Lublinek yet. Uh, yeah, he's... Learner level, but... Yeah. Looks like he has a good, good name. For, for his scenery. Chlorkovice, it, it doesn't look that, that big, to be honest. It, it has some sidings, which is nice. Uh, I will definitely have a look at this station myself. Yeah, I, I, I will have to do one of the streams with... Uh, when I dispatch on, on one of the stations. It, it's been a while since I've done that. Uh, the problem with those streams is that I need to start them sooner and I need to prepare some, some nice station for that. So yeah, it might take a while before I will do it again. Uh, I'm also waiting for some information about Simrail, which is, well, there is a high chance we're gonna hear something very soon. Uh, so eventually that might slip into into my schedule. Uh, am I running late? Uh, just a little bit, yes. Uh, I had some minor issues at the beginning. Uh, we've encountered a broken signal. Uh, let's give... Thumbs up to the dispatcher. Because we are about to leave the scenery. There we go. And now we are at Lublinek. FDL, hello, welcome to the stream, I hope you'll have a great time. 
today. Uh, like, I haven't seen you for a while. How are you doing? I'm great, I'm great. Uh, lately I've been busy with, with my apprenticeship and, and stuff, that's why I'm not streaming as often as I used to. On top of that, yeah, like there's not much happening in in my life right now. I'm, I'm spending so much time at work and, and I'm so busy with, with that apprenticeship assignment uh, that basically it's hard to say that I have any life. <laughs> so yeah, all the exciting things are not actually happening right now. <laughs> but apart from that, yes, I'm, I'm doing great. Okay, and it looks like this dispatcher actually set my route, uh, hopefully correctly. Uh, but we are seeing a green light, so he was definitely prepared for my arrival. And that is something I would like to see more often from the dispatchers, especially when I'm driving a freight train. Uh, FDL, no, I'm, I'm not working at, at the railways, I'm, I'm still working where I used to. Uh, the thing is, I, I received like offer to join apprenticeship program and upskill myself, so why shouldn't I do that? Like, in UK, education is quite pricey, so... <laughs> like, extra trainings are, are always useful, and, and that one will take me a year. Uh, well, I, I live in the UK, uh, and basically I, I just move boxes around the warehouse. <laughs> button that's what I wanted to do okay let's give a thumbs up to this dispatcher he actually did a great job for L level dispatcher uh, yeah it's it's it is connected with management uh, although my apprenticeship is, is about optimizing the process uh, so it's not exactly management on its own. That's... Yeah, that's the right one. Okay. Uh, but yes, uh, after I finish I will hopefully be offered uh, a management position. Or at least higher position than... than I currently am so so that's really nice extra money uh, I, I won't 
complain about that, to be honest. <laughs> Yes, uh, yes. Not too much more, but it's it's still something. It's it's better than than what I currently make. Okay chat, so that was Lublinek. We are slightly late, uh, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. go we are now approaching the next scenery it's there we go that's that's where it is <laughs> and we still got two hours left uh, until we reach our destination unless there's gonna be any other issues and uh, so that is gonna be Lee school uh, if we are lucky, we won't be held at any signals here. Although, yeah, we arrived a little bit later than we should. Just by a tiny bit. So if there are no other trains of a higher category, uh, then dispatcher will be able to just route me through. And that's what I'm hoping for. Uh, Fabian Freddy, uh, because that's how I designed it. Trying to climb uphill, clearly. Okay, chat, am I going to be lucky? Or am I not and I will have to stop somewhere soon? I can see there are other trains here and everything is of a higher category than me. Well, except Mr. Marcin. Uh, that is a freight train. And unfortunately, unfortunately, chat, I will have to slow down. 
Right, let's let it go. And hopefully my speed will drop on its own. Is it? Or is it not? Yeah, it looks like there's gonna be a train departing and, and that is... Yeah. And it's a passenger train, so... <laughs> now I will have to wait. So unfortunately, I won't be able to make up that lost time. Perfect. Okay, just to make sure that we can... Keep our speed steady. I will open the regulator and that should keep us around 40 kilometers per hour and that's exactly what we need according to the signal and also I don't know why, but I've been driving on both pantographs and nobody told me that I'm using both pantographs, because why not? <laughs> it's not that it's particularly wrong, uh, you can totally use two pantographs if you want to. Uh, but there is no reason for that. At the moment, it's not winter. Uh, Raliev, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, have a good evening or good night uh, whatever you are going to do <laughs> and I hope to catch you next time uh, which will probably be next week okay we can now let it coast and we should nicely roll into that siding I hope I wasn't too quick on, on the brakes. Maybe, maybe not. Oh dear. He passed the stop signal. Which is a problem, because that's the train that just passed next to me. So if my train didn't manage... Okay, I, I think I just managed to hide my train. There we go. Woo. Ah, 
Okay, let's see, let's see. Uh, yeah, Martin just went a little bit too far. But looks like, looks like I just managed to hide my train onto the siding. Uh, because this guy most likely ended up on on the same junction that I just went through. Okay, let me release the brakes. Now let's get it rolling. You can also give a thumbs up to the dispatcher. Oh, <laughs> oops, uh, looks like I just ran over somebody. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no, another frag. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, oopsie. <laughs> hey, it's not my fault that, that the guy was getting too close to my train. There was nothing in front of me, so he was probably trying to jump onto one of the wagons uh, at the end of my train and that's how it usually ends uh, there are only two wagons in the game that supports passengers where other players can actually get into your train and uh, and travel with you for a short distance anything else uh, will just instantly run you over or yeah that's how it ends and well there's nothing I can do about it anymore. <laughs> the guy is now squashed on on the tracks. Oh, I see, I see. I haven't been using those uh, intermodal wagons, so... 
So actually I didn't know about that. Looks like we are trying to climb up a very steep hill for this train because like getting over 50 seems to be a massive struggle for this train. way too fast and uh, it doesn't happen too often to me there we go and we can now try and speed up using both engines or well using parallel connection in, in that case which should give me a little bit more power yeah that's definitely very steep hill because the train is not speeding up at all There we go, now I'm speeding up. My goodness me. Oh wow, that was a struggle. Now we are approaching Parut. let me hold my speed in in place as long as there is no massive hill or, or something uh, 
Okay, so we are approaching a third of our journey. Not too bad, not too bad, chat. We are just tiny bit delayed. It's like five minutes. Uh, pretty much unnoticeable delay for a freight train. And if we are lucky, we will be able to continue through all the sceneries. And we might be able to make up some of the lost time. Okay, that was nice and clean. Let's give a thumbs up. And as always, let's message dispatcher. That's how every single scenery from now on should go. <laughs> That would be perfect, and this way I should be able to arrive at Volanovska by 
And there we go. We are about to reach Gwemboshov. Uh, and it looks like we are right on time. So it's not too bad, not too bad chat. There we go. Go. Okay, Sir Toby. Let's see. He already prepared my route. So far, things are looking good. Okay, looks like everything's green for me, so that's nice, that's nice. go nice and smooth nice and smooth chats
So now we are heading to Torkov and Przensy. Yes, uh, that's gonna be our next scenery. And it looks like it's gonna take a while to reach it. Dispatcher a thumbs up. There we go. Shouldn't take long for me to reach the end of this scenery. I see, I see. Okay, we should soon reach the end of this scenery. That's Okay, that is, yeah, that is Torkov, and we are now heading to Pshensi.
that is one really long and smooth track I can say like it's almost a straight line all the time There we go, we got different speed limit, which means that the game will probably soon start loading a new scenery. There we go. Okay, we should soon be arriving at Plensu. That was a bad timing. <laughs> Okay, and it looks like we are approaching some sort of a speed limit. Uh, another signal will limit my speed to a hundred kilometers per hour for some reason. Which probably means uh, that I will have a stop at Prensi. And there is nothing I can do about it.
Or maybe, maybe. Maybe I'm lucky, chat. Okay, yeah, so I will be flying through and the speed limit is... is here because we are going to join a different line and we will have to go over some junctions. We also got the neutral section. There we go, that is done. We may now... Speed up! And chat, we are officially two minutes ahead of the schedule. So that is really good. go oh wow I didn't realize that I got level 10 as a driver already <laughs> oh yes there is stare di povo Okay, okay, I, I didn't realize that Przensy in Starylipovo is a single scenery. Apparently my timetable doesn't really indicate correctly uh, which sceneries are separate or which stations are include, included in which scenery. That would be a really nice feature to add at one point. Also, I am now speeding a little bit.
Yeah, looks like we are going downhill, so I will have to observe my speed. Okay, that should do. Perhaps that would be better. Okay, we are now approaching Stare Lipovo. Is it? Um, yeah, it looks like. There's gonna be speed limit of 80, chat. 80. Not that it changes anything because my timetable speed limit is 70. <laughs> Okay. 
I guess the good time's over. It looks like I will have to wait. Although, for now, I still got green signals. So let's follow the signals, chat. Let's follow the signals. Okay, that was Starely Pogo. Okay, and now I'm approaching speed limit. Is it? Uh, oh no, this is for this truck. Oops, uh, that's the one. Oh, okay. We can continue. Perfect, perfect. So no issues, no delays. Chat, we are ahead of schedule officially. <laughs> Which is even better. Okay, so officially we are supposed to be at Clash Roof at 10 p.m. Uh, but I believe we will be there a little bit sooner. Question is, are we gonna get permission to carry on to Blaszki and Pravilas and Volanowska? Uh, that's, that is the question. If we will be able to continue all the way to Volanowska, we should finish our timetable much quicker than we plan to which is even better chat
I really like that bridge, Chad. That is amazing. Really well done. Although I can't remember if I ever actually arrived at that bridge from the other side. I can't really remember when was the last time I did that. My goodness me, 70 kilometers per hour feels like very, very slow, isn't it? And there we go. Another scenery. a little bit uh, these tracks are really nice so as long as I can hold my speed at steady 70 that is exactly what I need okay that is a little bit too slow Okay, so we are now heading to Bronowice. And we are supposed to arrive at 9.51. Nah, it's not gonna take that long, isn't it, chat? only train on that scenery
have to admit that today is going really uneventful. Like absolutely nothing is happening today. <laughs> Chat. Did did somebody throw a spell on on train driver two today? It's like there are no delays. I'm ahead of time with a freight train. Come on, give me a break. What's going on? Something must be up. Uh, perhaps people started to properly route trains today. We are approaching some speed limits, chat. That is new. slow down to 40 oh my goodness me there are less trains than sceneries today uh, no wonder why things are going so smooth Okay, so looks like uh, looks like I'm gonna be stopped to let eighty two one oh two through. Uh, that seems to be the case. stopping at Bronowice and we are 10 minutes ahead of time oh my goodness me so no wonder why this patcher is trying to hold me on the signal also my train is a little bit too long to 
to stop in front of that crossing so just in case somebody is asking why am I going to block the crossing and that is because I'm not sure if my train is going to fit on this siding at all Okay, chat, it looks like we might be waiting here for another 10 minutes. Uh, let me just verify if I was right to block this junction. Well, yeah, block this crossing. It's definitely not the best station to... Hold a freight train. And that's because, chat, as you can see, there are semaphores. See, there is not much space. If I would have stopped in front of that railroad crossing. My train would be sticking out behind the semaphore. That can't happen. Because there is another train following me. Okay, uh, let me just ask this patcher how long he is planning to hold me on, on that signal. I might take a break uh, for, a, for that period of time. Uh, let's just ask how long he is going to hold us. Yeah, uh, if it's possible, I might actually take a short break. Uh, we still got good half an hour. Okay, so we are waiting until 21.51, uh, so I still got 4 minutes. Oh, never mind. We don't have 4 minutes, chat. We just got permission, so we can carry on. <laughs> Looks like no break for me.
Okay. We are still slightly ahead of time, chat. So that's good. Okay, so now we are approaching Zaborov uh, Posterunek Odgraniczny and then Kleszczów. That is pretty bad.
Right, um, since I already passed that signal. Oops, uh, again. Why am I typing on a chat? Since I already passed that signal and I know that it's a signal failure. I first have to wait for my brakes to release and then we will continue. Right, so I will continue at 20 kilometers per hour until the next semaphore. And then we shall see what's going to happen. But it looks like Kleshtuf has some issue with uh, automatic block signaling. Uh, because I'm not the only driver that encountered a red light. Okay, I am now approaching a red signal. At least now I know about it. But I'm still blocking the truck, is it? Oh no, it's... Ah, uh, okay, that's not a red signal. That is, ladies and gentlemen. Railway crossing. 1594. Just perfect, isn't it? Okay, crossing is broken, which means I will have to cross it at 20 kilometers per hour. That's even better, chat. Following the rules is really hard in this game sometimes. Especially when somebody is holding you off while having half of the route broken. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, 
Okay, where is that crossing? Uh, I think it's right there. And then I will be able to speed up. Yeah, I think that's the crossing. So that's not too bad. And yes, indeed, crossing is broken. No, it's just the signalization that is broken. Crossing is perfectly fine. Okay, so we can speed speed up to 70. Is it? No, the next signal should slow us down to 40. My goodness me, I almost forgot about it. Okay, and now we are entering the siding and we will probably let uh, that express train through. Okay, speed limit is increased to 50, but it doesn't really matter because I'm going to stop anyway. So yeah, chat, unfortunately, I will be late. Because dispatcher decided to stop me one station up ahead, rather than here. Why are there? Well, who knows? Who knows? Maybe because in real life I'm not an actual admiral, so you know that's that's one way of calling someone who is just pretending to be an admiral. So yeah, this character is not an actual admiral. <laughs> I'm actually surprised that somebody needs to get that explained. Okay, I need to stop at this signal. Come on. Yeah.
Perfect. Shut. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now it looks like I'm gonna be waiting for that express train that went past me when I was approaching this station. So that will slow me down by good five to ten minutes because this guy needs to go all the way to the end of the scenery it shouldn't take that long because this route is 160 km per hour uh, so I assume that this extra strain will be limited to 130 uh, so yeah it's not that bad chat it's not that bad it shouldn't take that long We still got some waiting to do. Romis, thank you very much for follow. Welcome, welcome to that tiny Twitch family. <laughs> I hope you will enjoy today's stream as long as it lasts. Uh, we are currently stopped at the signal at Clash 2. And we still have to get to Blaszki, Pravelas. Uh, Strunek od Gałęźny and then Polanowska. So that shouldn't take too long. We got about 35 40 minutes left. Oh, there we go, chat. We can now carry on. Oops, I went way too far with that. <laughs> there we go. Let's try again.
Perfect. Okay, so hopefully there will be no more adventures along the route. And we will be able to get to Volanovska very close to our scheduled arrival. So many people are watching me on Twitch actually. I'm, I'm surprised. <laughs> Looks like another freight train is getting onto similar siding that I've been using. And that means that he is waiting for me to to clear this track section. Now we should be approaching the end of that scenery. I'm fairly sure that there is not much left. Ok, 
Okay, let's let's give him thumbs up. Now, looks like everything will go smooth. Okay, okay, that that was something new. Okay, it looks like we got another orange signal, so there is another issue up ahead. Is it? Or oh no, okay, okay. So there's gonna be three trucks, is it? Uh, or how does it work? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, okay, okay, so that's another one crossing. That is not close. Okay, we have to slow down to 20. Questions, where is that crossing? Uh, crossing is probably right behind the station. So I should have enough distance to bring my train down to 20. Oh, okay, never mind. We don't really have that much distance. My goodness me, I, I think I've overdone it a little bit. But now I can speed back up. I already went past the crossing in question. So 
So yeah, uh, I'm a little bit disappointed that dispatcher held me at uh, Bronowice, even though he knew that there are several crossings and, and places where I will automatically lose a lot of time. Now we should be approaching the end of the scenery, finally. Uh, Taromis, uh, uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, I would assume so, uh, providing, you know, that's that fancy avatar that I'm using. <laughs> so, yes. Oops, uh, why, why, why this thing doesn't work? Oh, uh, okay, perhaps, perhaps I need to use this enter, there we go. Okay chat, okay, we are about to change the scenery and get to Blaszki. There we go. Alright chat, we are lucky, everything will go smooth here at Blaszki and we might get to Volanowska more or less on time.
There we go. Almost there, chat. Almost there. Okay, so we are approaching some speed limit. It should be a hundred kilometers per hour. We shall see what else does that semaphore say. Oh, I see. It's it's probably because the track speed limit is also going down to a hundred. Oh no, I will have to slow down even further. That's interesting. Let it coast, is it? Uh, or is it gonna be... Oh, okay, no. My bad, it's a green flushing. Okay, so I can... Carry on as planned. Okay, so that's Plushki, eight minutes later than I was supposed to be here. So not too bad, not too bad, providing that we got held on Bronovice. And then we had that red signal on automatic block signaling so those two events definitely slowed us down not to mention broken cross ro uh, railroad crossings uh, so yeah not too bad not too bad we lost only nine minutes So let's give Stashu thumbs up. There we go. 
go. So that should now be Pravilas. And a neutral section. Almost there, chat. Almost there. We are now approaching our last scenery. There we go, chat. We are now approaching Volanovska. Uh, we were supposed to be on that scenery about five minutes ago. So it's not long now, chat. Not long now. <laughs> Railjet, thank you very much for joining me today. Um, as you can see, we are currently basically at Volanovska, so uh, my timetable will be finished in less than five minutes, probably. Uh, but thank you very much for staying for such a long time, and I hope to catch you next time, uh, which will be next Friday, I believe. 
And also don't forget that whatever part of the stream you missed, uh, you can always watch it later on YouTube. Because uh, that's where the full stream will be published shortly after the stream ends. Okay, we are approaching 40 km per hour speed limit on the next semaphore, which will probably be entry semaphore to the station. I think I have overdone it on the brakes a little bit and I will slow down a, a bit more than I planned uh, although it's not too bad yeah it's not too bad Yeah, I think I will be able to salvage the situation. <laughs> okay, let's give him thumbs up. Just in case I will forget. Oh, actually, that's even better because from what I can see, yeah, th that that entire section of the tracks might be 20. So it's even better that I slowed down a little bit more than than I was supposed to. and at least not go too slow <laughs> Almost there, chat. Almost there. 
the tiny red dot at the end is our goal today we need to stop right in front of it and that's our end signal that's the end of our today's journey chat end of the line we made it we made it through it was fantastic four hours and 40 minutes so that's that's a solid solid stream uh, we managed to complete three timetables two of them were well not impressive not impressive a combined distance of less than 80 kilometers and finally we managed to finish this one which is 112 kilometers long something like that uh, so that's definitely a nice timetable to do especially driving freight train which as you as you may know is the lowest priority train and sometimes you might end up being held at the signal because there is such a situation uh, you will most likely not be held at a signal while driving express train so they are much less fun to, to drive sometimes and that's why I like to drive freight trains because you never know what might happen and, and that's why I really enjoy that right chat we are slowly but steadily approaching that signal the time is running out now that should do perfect chat that is just perfect Okay, I can turn off the lights. Put up the pantograph. We can turn that off. Perfect. Let's take a screenshot for the future. Perhaps we could grab a screenshot from a different perspective. Uh, that's that's a nice one. Oh, uh, wait! There's there's a wagon here. Okay, okay. Uh, perhaps, yeah. Too bad there is no command for like a player model to, to like fly or whatever and, and so that you can actually go higher and, and let's say take a nice photo that that would be very useful obviously only when your train is stationary uh toromist uh, no i've been streaming for nearly four hours and 45 minutes now uh, so it is time oh wait uh, let me just send a message to to the dispatcher uh, okay let's make sure that yeah he got his thumbs up so chat I will do that now And yeah, uh, we have reached the end of today's stream. I, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, uh, remember to leave the video a like if you are watching me on YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe. And uh, finally, you can also become a channel member here on YouTube. And that will directly support uh, this little channel. If you are watching me on Twitch, uh, thank you very much for any follows that I've received. And 
to anyone to uh, who will eventually follow while uh, visiting my past streams. Uh, they won't be there for too long, so you don't have too much time to to see my past content. Uh, although you can always navigate to my YouTube channel where you can find every single stream that I ever made uh, because they are published there. Uh, finally, if you are really into trains and would like to chat with more people that are interested into that, uh, you might want to join my Discord server. The link should be under the player on Twitch or under the video in its description on YouTube. Uh, so that's another way to contact with me and other fans of my channel that share similar interests. Thank you very much for today and I hope to catch you next time. Bye bye.